And uh, one of the guys who worked for me says, somebody's coming out of the clubhouse down there by the gate. And I looked up and I said, that's Michael Jordan. My story of stories is my Michael Jordan story. There was one Saturday afternoon, I was a photographer and a reporter, and I got to the stadium really early because I wanted to get a shot of that bus that Michael had bought for the Birmingham Barons. I wanted to get a shot of it pulling up and Michael getting off the bus. We were here that afternoon getting the field ready, and I was, we were all my guys and myself were at home plate working, getting that area prepared. And uh, one of the guys who worked for me says, somebody's coming out of the clubhouse down there by the gate. And I looked up and I said, that's Michael Jordan. And it's not every day you see Michael Jordan walk out on your baseball field. So I stopped what I was doing and went and met him. And he said, are you the groundskeeper? I said, yes, I am. And he says, can you let me in the clubhouse? And I said, sure, I have a key. So I went and let him in the clubhouse. And uh, we started talking. And just a few minutes later, I hear this. He says, who is that? I said, I have no idea. So I get there to the to the field really early. So I went to the door and it was a guy with Channel 5 named Jeff Gravely. I see Bill Riggin. I say, Bill, how you doing? He said, what are you doing here so early? I said, well, I'm going to get a shot of the bus coming in and Michael getting off the bus. He goes, well, you'll get the shot of the bus coming in, but you're not going to get Michael getting off the bus. And I'm thinking security. He goes, no, because Michael's already in the clubhouse. And I'm thinking, oh. And Jeff says, is Michael in there? And I go, yeah, he sure is. And he says, can I come in? I said, I can't answer that. I said, I'll have to ask Michael if you can come in. Bill has carte blanche at Five County Stadium, and he goes in there and starts talking to Jordan. I'm like, Bill, see if he'll do an interview with me. So I turn around and ask Michael. I said, Michael, he said, who is it? And I said, it's uh, a reporter with Channel 5. So he does. He asked Michael if a guy from WRAL could come in and, and uh, just say hi or whatever, and it was funny, Michael's stipulation. You gotta leave the camera outside. So I did. So Gravely leaves this gazillion dollar camera just sitting on the porch <laughs> in, the, in the middle of nowhere and walks into the clubhouse. And I'm thinking, this is a fireable offense. <laughs> if, if management came out here and saw a WRL camera outside of a clubhouse and unattended, and it's my responsibility. I'm sunk. But how many times do you get to sit and talk with Michael Jordan? And Gravely and Michael and I sat there and talked for about 45 minutes. He had an ice bag on his wrist because he had injured his wrist the night before. And half the time I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm talking with Michael Jordan. But then the conversation was so casual the other part of me was like, we're the same age. We graduated from high school the same year. Heck, we could have played against each other in the playoffs in basketball. And he talked about playing professional basketball. He talked about Dean Smith. He talked about baseball. And it was just such a unique experience to sit there and have Michael Jordan not just talk, but ask questions. How's everything at RAL? Did Tom Suter ever get married? That was one of his questions. And Tom had gotten married a couple of years before. So I could tell Michael, I said, yep, Tom Suter actually did get married. So it was, uh, it's one of the top moments I've ever had in my career because it was such a unique opportunity to get a chance to have an audience with the great Michael Jordan. It was just, it was very interesting to, to get his perspective and be that close to him. Most people never get the opportunity to have a one-on-one a -on -one audience with Michael Jordan. And I remember asking him at the end, toward the end, I said, Mike, you know, could I do an interview with you before, you know, before the game starts? And he kind of laughs and he says, you know, why you want to interview me? I'm batting 200. And I said, yeah, but that's Michael Jordan batting 200, my friend. And he said, I'll do it after the game. And sure enough, he did. And a mob of media were there to, to talk with Michael. And, and he did it, but that's something that I don't know that uh, of all the things that have happened at Five County Stadium, that has to be one of the top. <laughs>